How do you all sleep at night when you can't stop thinking? Audiobooks and podcasts. Let's me close my eyes and rest. Keep my brain occupied without it having to work. Helps guide me to sleep. Still takes hours and hours but it's far more pleasant, restful, and wards off the nighttime anxiety. I have an overly active mind and an addiction to my computer, phone. I found that one thing works. When I go to bed, I lay there and I think about sleep. I think first about how I need to lay still in the dark. No phone, no TV playing, etc. I concentrate on listening to my breathing, then my heartbeat. Then I think about how heavy my individual body parts are getting. My legs, my arms, my eyelids. I think about how black my mind is getting, and how it slows down like a spinning wheel mired in a thick gooey mud. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Then before I know it I'm awake in the morning. I've found out it's not the overthinking, it's your overthinking about your overthinking. Every time you catch yourself in a train of thought as you're trying to sleep try saying this to yourself my mind is pretty restless tonight. But that's okay I'll eventually fall asleep an unhelpful thought is I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight because I can't stop thinking and then I'm going to be tired for my meeting tomorrow. Blah 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 try not to beat yourself up or judge yourself that you can't turn your mind off. Also if you're trying to fall asleep right now and can't, but your damn phone in another room. I try to think about something specific and basically create stories in my head. The problem is when my mind can wander aimlessly, it tends to race. If I control it by forcing myself to redo the same scene over and over again until it has the perfect dialogue I end up falling asleep before too long. On a similar post a while ago someone posted count backwards from 200 inches. I've tried it a few times since and it can be quite effective. I've found it works best when I say, in my mind, the full number for example 187 instead of 187. If your mind wanders and you forget where you're up to start again from 200. It takes enough thought to distract from other stuff but not so much that you're overthinking. Mindfulness meditation. Basically, it's a learned skill to stop thinking. A skill that can be improved with practice. There's a good reason it's a part of many psychiatric treatments. I picked it up from a book called Meditation for Fidgety Skeptics. But there are a bunch of other books with similar contents. Just different packaging. I have a visualization technique that I use. I picture myself in a pure white room with a single large closet. Every unwanted thought gets put into a white box, a lid put on it, and the box goes into the closet. Then the next, and the next. If the same thoughts occur I don't mind, I just keep boxing them up. The closet never fills. Eventually my mind is still and I sleep. I found that mindful meditation, Breathing practices have helped me tremendously. I used to rely on sleeping pills, taking 2-3x the prescribed dose, in order to settle down each night. I did this for about 15 years, but over the past 2 years, I have managed to get off all sleeping medications and get a solid 6-8 hours of sleep. Meditation has been a game changer for me. Watch Futurama, seriously. I didn't know that this was a thing that other people did until recently, but I watch Futurama until I fall asleep damn near every night and have done so for years. Apparently there's a whole community of us, got our own sub and everything. Our Futurama sleepers. I found that I need a project to work on, then during times of going to sleep, I imagine and mentally plan the things I want to do with the project. Usually this mental energy is enough to get me to sleep. However if I can't sleep, we should consider that maybe I really wasn't actually that tired and that maybe I should work on or write down the project ideas. That being said, probably the hardest thing for people here is finding a suitable project or hobby that requires a level of mental engagement for planning. 
The body is hypersensitive to rhythms. Don't work into the evening. Stop at a set time and stick to it. Eat dinner at the same time. Try to get to bed at a similar time every night. Not being able to switch off is your body saying I don't know what the fuck time it is. Give me more information. Lie down, then I'll listen to the sound of my own heartbeat. Like I'll be as still as I can be and try and listen or maybe feel the pulses. If I'm antsy I'll notice it racing but it calms down when I realize it's doing that, which is also just my body becoming very relaxed. After that I'll try and think about nothing until I end up waking up and realizing it worked again. Sometimes contracting or squeezing the muscles in your body and then releasing can help your body relax too. I've tried counting. But honestly just drowning out all your thoughts but only thinking about your pulse seems to do it for me. Trouble W, insomnia for years, finally got of Presk sleeping pills because doctor refused to refill, and I've experimented with many things, mind racing, and will I sleep? Nope, not yet, so I thankfully, finally hit on it with tiny doses of melatonin. 500 750 mcg and one fourth dose of advil pm and it works every time also set my kindle on low light setting and with the pills never read more than a page or more and out like blowing out a candle exercise really helps too as well as pot but with pot i eat too much 3 5 mg is the dose recommended for men so go figure by the tiny dose works better but it does Note 500 mcg x2 is 1 mg. The latest twist in my insomnia problem is I've noticed on full moon nights, I just can't sleep, as this waxes, wanes I go back to a full night's rest. Watch a stream that got a calm atmosphere but enough going on to distract my mind. To get started I browse reddit and let the stream run in the background and when I get tired I just watch stream. I need to be physically and mentally tired to sleep. I always make sure at 8 p.m. I see how I feel. If not mentally tired enough, I always have some project on the go to mentally tire myself enough, so I do some of that. Over the last six months that has been catching up with where my degree subject has got to since I stopped studying it. Don't think about what happened today or what you have to do tomorrow. Don't think about people work, COVID, money etc. Think of how comfortable you are. Think of how much you love every piece of your bedding. Think of how lucky you are to have a bed that's warm and dry. I have to think to sleep. I actually used to save it for bedtime in my head during the day. It was usually an idea, concept, a thought, anything that required a little mental exploration. I think the issue isn't thinking but the anxiety that comes with it for people that have difficulty with this. You're stressing your mind and that is preventing you from sleeping. Sometimes I can even feel the dopamine like release when I recall something I want to think about while lying down. I never really get through it fully as I fall asleep at some point. Simplest way I can think to put it. Pete and repeat sat on a log, Pete fell off, who's left, on whichever topic has my curiosity that night. Recently it been focused on food recipes for my anniversary in a week, she has put up with me for three years, lol. I think she deserves something nice that night. First of all, I avoid thinking about unpleasant things like Donald Trump or things that need repair around the house. I think about things like our next vacation or maybe reflect on a past one. Trying to remember all the things we saw, experienced, ate, etc. helps make my brain finally get tired in a good way. Serious answer. First, start relaxing your body. Start by bringing your attention to your face. Very often we're holding an expression and don't even know it. Relax it. Then, in order and distinctly, neck, arms, upper chest, abdomen, hips, legs, feet. Think of each in turn, tell the muscles to relax. Now that your body is relaxed, blank your mind. There are many techniques, 
what works for me is envisioning a sheet covering all thoughts, the thoughts are still there, but covered, it will take a few weeks of practice, but eventually you'll fall asleep in moments. Don't try to turn off your mind and stop thinking, that is an act of thought in itself, just accept the thoughts that are coming into your head as subconscious ideas floating in and out, don't focus on them, just watch them as you would a TV show, you start to drift, and for me, dreams kick in quicker. Precocet, wild dreams. 2. I had surgery a few months ago, still have some of the painkillers I was prescribed, when I can't sleep, such as right now, actually. Hmm, I'll take one, knocks me out about half an hour later. Watch Futurama, seriously, I didn't know that this was a thing that other people did until recently, but I watch Futurama until I fall asleep them near every night and have done so for years, apparently there's a whole community of us, got our own sub and everything. Our Futurama sleepers. I found that I need a project to work on, then during times of going to sleep, I imagine and mentally plan the things I want to do with the project, usually this mental energy is enough to get me to sleep, however if I can't sleep, we should consider that maybe I really wasn't actually that tired and that maybe I should work on or write down the project ideas. That being said, probably the hardest thing for people here is finding a suitable project or hobby that requires a level of mental engagement for planning. The body is hypersensitive to rhythms, don't work into the evening, stop at a set time and stick to it, eat dinner at the same time, try to get to bed at a similar time every night, not being able to switch off is your body saying I don't know what the fuck time it is, give me more information. Lie down, then I'll listen to the sound of my own heartbeat, like I'll be as still as I can be and try and listen or maybe feel the pulses, if I'm antsy I'll notice it racing but it calms down when I realize it's doing that, which is also just my body becoming very relaxed, after that I'll try and think about nothing until I end up waking up and realizing it worked again, sometimes contracting or squeezing the muscles in your body and then releasing can help your body relax too, I've tried counting, but honestly just drowning out all your thoughts but only thinking about your pulse seems to do it for me. You know. I find thinking about things actually helps me sleep, as long as I'm not thinking about actively trying, needing to sleep in the moment, I'm usually gone within the hour my head hits the pillow, I tend to have trouble falling asleep if it's quiet, or if I'm anticipating something I'm looking forward to the next day so I always sleep with the T.V on in the background. Lie on one side. Try to observe for a minute or two what topics you're thinking about, change position and lie on your other side, observe that the topics you're thinking about have changed, now try and discover which side of your brain is better in music, arithmetic, logical thought, poetry, etc. I play word games in my head, letting my brain focus on something other than all the topics keeping me awake. For example, I'll go through the alphabet and list a girl's name that starts with each letter, or a city name that starts with each letter, or a food, or a song title, and go through the alphabet again as many times as needed. Skip difficult letters like Q and X, etc., or I'll recite the list of US presidents in order, or the 50 states and capitals in the US, or all the street names I drove on last week slash month slash whatever, or the name a word that starts with the last letter of the previous word game, eventually I just drift to sleep in the middle of playing the game, I have tried doing simple math, too, like calculating the Fibonacci sequence, or counting in sevens, but that doesn't work for me, I seem to do better with words and lists. I like to picture a match being lit and the flame is all that I focus on, sometimes I'll move it to a candle, but you get the idea, if my mind wanders, I'll mentally light another one, 
usually gets me to sleep after a short period of time. Trouble W, insomnia for years, finally got of Presque sleeping pills because doctor refused to refill, and I've experimented with many things, mind racing, and will I sleep? Nope, not yet, so I thankfully, finally hit on it with tiny doses of melatonin, 500 750 mcg and one fourth dose of advil pm and it works every time also set my kindle on low light setting and with the pills never read more than a page or more and out like blowing out a candle exercise really helps too as well as pot but with pot i eat too much 3 5 mg is the dose recommended for men so go figure by the tiny dose works better but it does Note 500 mcg x2 is 1 mg. The latest twist in my insomnia problem is I've noticed on full moon nights, I just can't sleep, as this waxes, wanes I go back to a full night's rest. Watch a stream that got a calm atmosphere but enough going on to distract my mind. To get started I browse reddit and let the stream run in the background and when I get tired I just watch stream. I need to be physically and mentally tired to sleep. I always make sure at 8 p.m. I see how I feel. If not mentally tired enough, I always have some project on the go to mentally tire myself enough, so I do some of that. Over the last six months that has been catching up with where my degree subject has got to since I stopped studying it. Don't think about what happened today or what you have to do tomorrow. Don't think about people, work, COVID, money etc. Think of how comfortable you are. Think of how much you love every piece of your bedding. Think of how lucky you are to have a bed that's warm and dry. I have to think to sleep. I actually used to save it for bedtime in my head during the day. It was usually an idea, concept, a thought anything that required a little mental exploration. I think the issue isn't thinking but the anxiety that comes with it for people that have difficulty with this. You're stressing your mind and that is preventing you from sleeping. Sometimes I can even feel the dopamine like release when I recall something I want to think about while lying down. I never really get through it fully as I fall asleep at some point. Simplest way I can think to put it. Pete and repeat sat on log, Pete fell off, who's left, on whichever topic has my curiosity that night, recently it been focused on food recipes for my anniversary in a week, she has put up with me for 3 years, lol, I think she deserves something nice that night. First of all, I avoid thinking about unpleasant things like Donald Trump or things that need repair around the house. I think about things like our next vacation or maybe reflect on a past one. Trying to remember all the things we saw, experienced, ate, etc. helps make my brain finally get tired in a good way. I found that I need a project to work on. Then during times of going to sleep, I imagine and mentally plan the things I want to do with the project. Usually this mental energy is enough to get me to sleep. However if I can't sleep, we should consider that maybe I really wasn't actually that tired and that maybe I should work on or write down the project ideas. That being said, probably the hardest thing for people here is finding a suitable project or hobby that requires a level of mental engagement for planning. The body is hypersensitive to rhythms. Don't work into the evening. Stop at a set time and stick to it. Eat dinner at the same time. Try to get to bed at a similar time every night. Not being able to switch off is your body saying I don't know what the fuck time it is. Give me more information. Count from 1 to 150, and make sure you say each number in your head for more than one second. So like one, at least one second. Two, just count. Don't say one one thousand or anything. Each time you move, adjust sleeping position, scratch etc, restart the counter. And if you somehow get to 150, just start all over again. 
Last night my brain was going nuts with guilt and from homesickness. I haven't seen my family for a year or cause Rona. Guilt from things I did in the past I can't forgive myself for and trust me, to anyone else they are probably not a big deal but anyways. I sleep with my boyfriend but he had work in the morning so I go cry in the washroom not wanting to disturb him. When I get back I sit down to have a puff of weed as it helps me relax with shit like this and he just looks at me and I break down. I couldn't hold it in anymore, and he helps me through it. He lets me cry and listens to me and holds me. It's far better crying with someone than crying alone, as embarrassing as it still feels. I slept like a baby, having literally drained everything out.